for her eco crafting. For today's project, Heidi dug into her recycling bin again and created some real cool jewelry. I'm delighted to welcome my sister, Heidi Borchers. Hi, Heidi. Hi, everyone. Thanks, Tiff. You know, there's been so many great projects today that I'm just like um, staring at the computer. I hope that I can remember what I'm doing today. But I am, I did use this project um, this last week. I was a speaker at the Central Coast American Sewing Guild. So I really started it there and I'm sharing it with you. It's a project using water bottles, uh, plastic straws, and fabric. So Tiff, if you'll put up the screen, I'll get ready. Get this out of the way. There. Okay, we are just using water bottles. And I wanted to show you today how, to, how I cut it apart um, for this project. I use a craft knife and I just cut it apart just really quick. You know these, these inexpensive um, bottles are really easy to cut apart. If you have some of the other um, stronger bottles they're a little bit harder. So I take the top off and I take the bottom off and this is the way I do it too for the, for the bracelet. I think it would help if I put my close-up glasses on too. Okay, then I take and I just cut it open. And for these, if I'm making a lot of them, I do a couple cuts. Then I take my pattern, I place it anywhere, and I draw around with a um, sharpie. And that's what I have right here. If you can see it, I can't even see that it's drawn on there. It is drawn on, and I cut out my piece like that. So that one, this is all ready to be um, covered. So what I do is I cut my, this is the fabric I'm going to use today. So let me show you the fabric that's on the one that she showed in this. This is the fabric that was on the one that was in the picture. This is the fabric I'm going to use today. And what I do is I tear it. I like the, I like the look of the torn edges. And then after I tear it, I iron all my pieces. This one has all kinds of wonderful colors in it. So then I'm going to take a little bit of glue. I'm going to put it at the back of the uh, plastic piece that I've cut. And I'm just going to place my fabric right into that glue. And I'm going to begin to just go around and wrap it. And I overlap. Can, you got, can everybody hear me? I just see, I just looking up there and see someone can't hear me. And I just start to wrap it around. Okay. And I put a little glue as I go, especially when I go on the edges. And I like, I like the fabrics that have like a different stripe on them because I like to get all the different colors. And just keep going around. And I'm going to probably stop this in a second so that I can go on to the next step, but I do want to show you okay, like that. Now, when it's all done, I take a eighth inch paper punch and I punch a hole at the top wherever I decide I'm going to hang it. Just paper punch it. And I'll show you why. This one has been punched. And then inside, I put a jump ring, and I tied pieces, I tied three strands of embroidery floss to the jump ring. And that's where I'm going to add the beads. But before we add the beads, we're going to show, first I'm going to do some little other beads made out of straws. It's just a regular drinking straw, and I cut it into little pieces. And you cut your, cut your fabric into different strips, and just put a little bit of glue onto the straw and then wrap your fabric. And I put a little bit of glue at the end, like so. And there I have one of my spacer beads. Okay, now when you go to do the strand here, you're going to take the end of your embroidery floss 
and you're going to put a little bit of glue on the end. That makes it like a needle. It makes it, if you let it dry, it just, it dries kind of stiff. And you just work on each end. Put a few beads. You kind of have to undo it so it's not all knotted like I have. Hang on one second. Let's get it undone here. And just put, I put a few small beads to begin with. And then when you want to use your straw bead, you're going to put a bigger bead, like so, and then you're going to put your straw bead, and that way the little bead, the, the bigger bead, holds that so it doesn't fall off. We've got one big bead, get another one, like so, and you just, you just do all three strands like that, and let me bring the other one up here. See how I go and went to each side. Now I also took some um, embroidery floss and I went around, went around the whole piece, the little pendant, and added my beads. Now it's it's really a good idea when you're using the lightweight uh, plastic water bottle to use glass beads because that makes it a lot heavier. It gives it a nice heaviness to it. Otherwise, it's pretty light when you go to wear it. So all these are pretty. They're pretty much.